All right, it's another day. We have finished spray painting the handles and we went with the silver. I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna paint the back of the cabinet doors and then I guess we will then go ahead and poly the countertops. So this is very exciting. We're getting so close to being done. Um, we're gonna work on it again tomorrow and then we're gonna try to drop it in the lake on Sunday. So fingers crossed. Is that the right color? How's it look? <laughs> it looks good to me. <laughs> looks blue. And it's blue. Does it look like painter's tape blue? <laughs> Interesting. That looks good. I like it. Hey, if you like this blue, let us know in the comments. If you think we should have gone with a different color, go ahead and let us know that too. I think it's great. It looks like painter's tape blue. I mean, it's a it nice looks little like water what? stripe. Painter's tape blue. It's awesome. It, that's your favorite. Yeah. The 3M kind? Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I know, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, that's damn almost identical. <laughs> With a sheen. We picked up painted tape blue. <laughs> We've been looking at it for so long, it's all over the inside of the boat. We like, love it so that's, much. That's the color. That's great. <laughs> oh my that god. <laughs> that is pretty funny that y'all got painted tape blue. That is. That's what they should name this because it is exactly what it looks like. The color we ended up going with, this is painter's tape blue, also known as blue azure. Azore? Blue azore? It's French for painter's tape blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, go out and get painter's tape blue if you like it. Get painter's tape blue if you like it, alright. Do you like that one, Jess? I did. <laughs> Jess, what are you doing? Just looking at this painter's tape blue and thinking about how great it's going to look on the outside of the boat <laughs> when I can cool. see it. Cool. It also looks like you're applying the second coat of polyurethane. Yeah, that's what I'm really doing, but what I'm thinking about... <laughs> <laughs> it's painter's tape blue. Yeah. Blue Resore. Blue Resore. Oui, oui. <laughs> Magnifique. We finished installing the lights today and they can't go flush up against because the wires come out the back and we can't go through the ceiling, but they are close enough and we are very happy with these. Kind of looks like skylights in here and they were not very expensive. I think all of the lights cost around 120 bucks total. So we went with a one by two here and a two by two here. <clears throat> and the cool thing about these lights is you can change the colors on them. So you can have three different color temperatures, which is great for shooting videos or what type of day, what time of day it is. Jess, what's your mood? Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you weren't on a fine line painting the boat there during a dance party. Huh? Dance. Some blue paint spilled. It's like a handicapped parking spot now. <laughs> <laughs> Painter's tape blue. There are worse colors to have spilled on the driveway. This latex that'll come off eventually. Yeah. It's the worst thing I've ever had on this driveway. <laughs> What's the worst thing? Oil, gas, diesel fuel, transmission fluid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you name it, it's I been on here. T25, a flathead, a square head number one, and a Phillips head. Jesus. <laughs> All to take the trolley motor off. <laughs> nice assortment of. Pretty much, they're like, well, we got one of these, one of these, one of these, and all the screwdrivers. Let's go. Mm. And we said, if you bolt, yep. cut it in half. The hot? Oh, hot yes, bolt. Hot. Look at that. Let's get out of bolt. Come on. We need a hammer. Yeah, I'll hit it out. I'll get this other one out. Yeah. Hammer time. I need you to hold this thing. This thing? Well, this is gonna fall. Yeah, it is. Let me jump down. Yeah. It'll take a minute to get this thing cut, but.
sure. Here, Jess. What? Hey, Monica. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so these lights have selectable color temperatures and they have three different settings. So this one is daylight, it's 5,000 Kelvin. And then you can make it warmer by going down to 4,000, which is bright white. And then 3,000 Kelvin, which is soft white. So this is really orange and yellow. I'll probably keep mine on bright white or daylight if maybe I'm doing work or something, but I like bright white at 4,000 Kelvin. Chad's wife just got us milkshakes from Homestead Creamery and we've never had these. They make everything fresh and handmade and this is so freaking good. Jess gets to try it for the first time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we should have got three of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Still putting on some final touches. Yeah. Using the rest of this Elasto Cool 1000. It's like Flex Seal, but you get a lot more of it. And it's maybe not as good, but you get a lot more of it. I just finished putting the second coat on the roof, so I hope this prevents any leaks. It's like $100 for this five gallon jug instead of $100 for Look one gallon of Flex Seal. So. It looks like yogurt. Mmm. Mmm, yogurt. So thick. And the second coat of poly is dried, so we're ripping up, ripping off all the tape. And this thing should be good to go in a couple hours. Putting the final <laughs> touches on right now. And we're trying to do some touch-ups and we have created so many different grays. We have a dark gray. Brown gray. A lighter gray. And then the lightest gray. So we're trying to match this paint right here, but this looks brown. <laughs> there are all these little spots. <laughs> now we don't know what to do. It's really bad over there. We took the tape off and it all came off. So we don't know if this is the one that we mixed up and it was kind of brown, but it's looking a little brown. It's looking a little brown. <laughs> it's looking a little more gray now. I don't know. A little bit. It looks a little more gray. I really hope it turns out to be the correct gray. It was a lot of grays ago. <laughs> yeah, so many grays ago. I, I feel like we took that gray and made this gray for the cabinets to make the paint go further. I think so too. <laughs> so what do we do here? We can't match this gray now. Do we paint a stripe? It's starting to look gray. Isn't it? Should we just paint the whole thing this one color? No. So that it's an even unmatched color? Instead of like a bunch of little spots? Gray. We'll figure that out later, but now it's time to take the boat to the lake. That's a big crack in the windshield. Yeah, everything looks great. All right. Can't forget the boat plugs. Yeah, these are kind of important. Do you think this boat is going to float? Let us know in the comments below. And stay tuned for the next episode, and let's find out. Subscribe.